Yo, what's up everybody? JP checking it live, man. Respectmyregion.com. We're coming to you guys live from the 2024 trade show floor of Flower Expo. Today's journey is brought to you guys by our homies Trees Next Door and also Bada Bloom. We've got a very special guest here, the chief of marketing, the sales, the director. She does so many things I can't even title or say it right because ultimately when you're in cannabis, you wear more than two hats, three hats, four hats, five hats. You do lots of things. This is Rhiannon and Binder. Hey. How are you doing today? Honey, I'm hot. You see, I have a fan in my- I know, you got the fan. You can be on queen mode over here. It's okay. It's fucking hot in Greenfield, Massachusetts. We're in Greenfield, as you were saying. The bottle blooms in the building. We got some rosin. We're doing some dabs. I think, is there still a little bit? Of this? You take it? There's a little bit, yeah. yeah there we go. Smoking out of the Carter. But I'm super, I'm super honored to have you today and talk a little bit about the bread, right? We just had Michael on the show a second ago, but I wanted to talk about your, your come up in Canada. You're a, you're a young legend in this space. When I, talk, when I come to Mass and I say who I'm hanging out with, people know who you are. They show love, they got respect for the hustle. And so I want to talk about what got you into cannabis. How did you get started? Okay, how I got started was after the pandemic. Um, yeah, I've been smoking cannabis since I was 15. Um, I was always you know, curious because, you know, my mom grew up, I grew up on ho holistic medicines. So okay. I always wondered why, like, cannabis with all the legal issues why it was illegal the way when there was like no vaccine whatnot and in that you know massachusetts is one of the first states to legalize and medicinally to cancer patients so i was like there's something not lining up so i you know i was you know what yeah i was 15 in high school i decided to smoke on my own which i guess people don't normally do but i did by myself because i was just but if anything went on i wanted to just be by myself so i smoked it and then, you know the rest is history and here i am today um and bam bam just like that yeah well oh, and how did you how did you what did you do before bottle blue well what i did i was actually working at bloomingdale's uh okay Pinola. so i worked in retail um but again i always feel cannabis and you know the pandemic hit i was just at home doing nothing and just when i just turned 21 because i also like in 2019 is when i turned 21 so i was never really able to get into my yeah yeah so, uh, i was going to like weekends all the different conferences and whatnot that i could get into it as long as we're eating, eat. um, so then pandemic hit, turns 21, couldn't do anything. But once things started slowly opening up, I seen on Indeed, I, I was looking left and right. Then the dispensaries, I have five yeah. different ones, some of them I didn't get. And then finally, I actually got my first butt tending get at NetA in Brooklyn. Wow. So, uh, that's where I started my first uh, ever job in the industry. Uh, butt tender, what a great place to start. How yeah. crazy to think about that you got to start from... It's well, tankers are not starting from the bottom, but in some ways it is, right? From a retail... It's great to know that, like, you know, just jumping into, like, at least the cannabis on your shirt. Yeah. Jumping right into, like, the fourth level and stuff. It's like, you're not understanding how the retail works. It's a very much different, like, template than it is of normal retail. Because, again, we have all the housing regulations, especially here in Massachusetts with the CCC. Yeah. So... I think it's learning uh, some of my, at least for my journey, and everyone's different, but for my journey, I really appreciate rowing, you know, my first ever little stem. Um, I was in flip flight with Netta. Um, so I was there for a few months of, what was it, November 2021 until August 2022. They had an opening for GA, their brand ambassador, and I applied and I got it. I was love it. first ever month with them, we were the official high time cannabis cup in St. Harry so I learned a lot, just literally 